Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here. I'm from Safi Financial Network. Today is August 8th, 2024. I just that uh, before I uh before I start this video, I just look at the date. 2024 equals eight, and today is August 8th. So look at that. These three pearl eight comes together at the same time and look at the rally here today. So uh, I don't know if it is fun or if it is just um, uh, whatever you want to call it, but I like it. I like number eight, triple eight in the same day. So fantastic search to the upside, 3% for S&P 500. Great move. Market just to close above uh, previous uh, last, uh, I should say, four days high or low, uh, actually low or closing. And uh, we just had uh, the fifth day, we just uh, reversed all the way back up nicely. So monthly and weekly and daily chart looks pretty bullish right now for months of August so far. So we are at August 8th, just the uh, second week of August. Uh, this is fantastic. Bounce is confirmed. We are just uh, getting back up to, to the rally 54 to 54.90. I should say this is the area that I'm looking for, kind of like for a bounce. So we can see some kind of feel. We're gonna see a choppy, sloppy consolidation prior to have like a continuation rally. But I should say next week as well, we will see a bounce confirmed if a weekly chart closed like this. So tomorrow will be a uh, Friday. And um, I, I think if, if we close something like this, this is a very bullish weekly candle, guys. So based on the price action, this is very bullish price action. And uh, we can continue it, its rally to the upside. I'm not sure if we are getting to a double top or potentially we are going to see 55, 45 or 5,600 at the very, very kind of like a stretch uh, to the upside. So still, I'm not sure if we get there, but if we get there, that would be a fantastic kind of like analysis for us. Four hours chart, this is kind of like a short term or kind of like intraday chart. This is very bullish. You're seeing... Uh, a nice higher low as well here and we are just uh, getting above this important gap demand uh, supply area so this supply area worked once uh yesterday and uh, today just came back up nicely and engulfed this supply so for those ones who don't know the supply demand uh, this works once and this is not a fresh so you can just uh, see a breakout a pullback a good kind of like a signal for another rally for those ones who missed this bottom here or for those ones who missed this bottom we didn't basically our subscribers and myself we just close our put position in this sell off this day and even prior that and we got into long position the entire lows here we just got into long position different names and also we have cash as well just a small amount to see if market just that gives us another kind of like opportunity on a short side but right now i should say s p 500 for a short term is heading to 54 to 5490 which is going to be kind of like a this supply area again this is kind of like a consolidation this is a danger zone and this one is coming to this trend line as well here at the same time so 54 to 54 90 for those ones who can't see my numbers here i'm just uh, write it down here 54 to 54 90 that's the area that i'm looking for as p 500 for tomorrow early next week moving on to nasdaq which was kind of like a leader four percent right now fantastic move nasdaq breakout nicely this is one hour chart and we are just uh, getting into important breakout zones so this is very very bullish you see that this is double bottom nice sell-off getting back this is a bullish consolidation nice rally and we got above this important pivotal point this is a nice supply worked once twice and three times so what do you expect like uh, when area works um three times you shouldn't bet on that for the fourth time this is very dangerous and uh, we just got a nice rally however we are still in a kind of like a danger zone so this NASDAQ can go higher all the way up to, I should say 19,000. So this is the area, this is the higher limit of this supply area. If we get above this a pullback, it could be kind of like a rally to 19,500 to 19,600. But I'm not sure if that happens, at least that uh, we need to just chase the market day by day, uh, week by week to see how it goes. 
But usually when there is a breakout, especially in the downtrend, we can see a nice surge to the upside. So that's what I'm looking at. Again, 4% for NASDAQ, marvelous move. This is one of those typical bear market rally. And as I said, the bounce is coming. Don't be disappointed. Bounce came up nicely. Dow Jones, daily chart, a nice engulfing pattern to the top. And uh, we just close above uh, one, two, three. Um, the third actually closing and opening previous candles. So this is very, very important. Nice volume today as well. So 60, 60 70 million volume for SDY, which is S&P 500. Dow just increased the rally to the upside. Everything was kind of like a rally today on fire. And we can get back all the way up to 40,000, I believe. 40,100. Uh, That's the area that I'm looking for uh, to see how Dow is going to react. And if it goes here, if it chop and then getting back up potentially for this, and then sell off, you shouldn't be surprised at all. So we are not there yet. Uh, we want to enjoy this rally at least for a short term. I should say this is going to be a great buying opportunity. Um, actually, it was. Um, we can see nice bounce as well. Moving on to gold, which just had a fantastic move today as well. 1% to the upside. Everything was on rally. So this is kind of like interesting. Uh, gold actually doesn't give us any kind of like a corrective move. Still looking for this area for a buy. So, but gold is just nice a bull flag here forming, especially in a weekly chart as well. It's just form a nice bull flag. So if you go to weekly chart, I know that this is a multi uh, VIX consolidation, but this is kind of like the scenario that I'm looking at for weekly chart. We are just seeing search. This is a nice bullish pattern here. This is not nice, actually. This is very ugly. Lots of shadows from the top and bottom. But um, if we get above this breakout zone, I should say gold is going to gonna go higher a lot. And everyone needs to be kind of like aware of this because when gold is spiking up, it's going to just uh, drag silver as well. Silver is oversold, but uh, today we just got a fantastic rally. It was pretty close to my kind of like a level 24 to 26. So um, a nice reversal today. It didn't go below this bottom. Silver just getting back to the upside still. Uh, there is going to be a chance if we get here for a fantastic search. I should say if silver is here, this is going to be a lifetime buying opportunity. Um, I'm waiting. I just got into silver mine position. One of my favorites. Our subscribers know that. So this is kind of like a small position first time. Again, after nice rally um, um, that we had before. So we just took benefit out of it. We sold that position. We were waiting for another position. So we got into silver and I'm just looking forward to be honest by another opportunity uh, somewhere around here if it gives us opportunity. So we'll see how it goes. Moving on to crude, which had a kind of like after yesterday, positive price action. Crude continues to the upside. However, it was kind of like a burning negative, but eventually it's just that close positive. Not a bad session for crude, so we can close this. Um, still looking for some area like this. This is 78 to $80. Then we can see some kind of like, if it's going to be a sell-off, I should say we can see a sell-off after 80, 80 area. So we can see some kind of like uh, getting to the downside. So let's see how it goes. And uh, we should just uh, um, we should just uh, be careful about the crude price action. Lots of people are betting on crude long. I'm not, to be honest. I'm not going to be a crude long. Bitcoin, fantastic surge to the upside. Great move today. Congratulations, subscribers. We just we got Bitcoin here, and uh, very nicely we just bought. Uh, right now we are just uh, seeing um, a nice rally to the upside for Bit. Uh, nicely in profit. I'm not selling Bitcoin right now. I'm just waiting for uh, this area to see how it's going to react because next time if we hit here 69 to 70, then if you see a consolidation, I believe Bitcoin is going to just break through multi months consolidation to the upside, which is going to be a fantastic price action to 100,000. So we will see how it goes, but I'm pretty bullish in Bitcoin, at least for the short term. Ethereum, nice engulfing pattern to the upside. Great move. Ethereum is lagging compared to Bitcoin, but uh, there is going to be a good level, 2,800 to 3,000. And the next level is going to be 34 to 3,500. So we will see how it goes. Moving on to the bond yield. Bond yield uh, goes higher today as well. It's going to be a, just a bounce. 
I believe 4.11 to 4.20. That's the area that I'm looking for. Bonds, you know, treasury goes down, um, but uh, kind of like a buyers came back just to buy the dip. Still looking for more kind of like um, down tick here to 91 to 93. Then after that, you can see the next leg of a treasury uptick for uh, for kind of like a next week or so, uh, or even next month. And VIX is coming down 14%. This is great to move for VIX because we know that stock market bottom, especially look at this VIX um, at the top of the VIX uh, daily chart on um, August 5, which is Monday. And uh, that tells me that VIX is top, at least the stock market bottom. And we can see some kind of like, again, pull back to 14, 16 area for the next uh, topping phases of the stock market, VIX bottoming. Moving on to Dixie, Dixie just uh, forming uh, uptick today as well, just that uh, three cents up, but not about price action. This is a still kind of like a bear flag for Dixie. If it goes to 103, 104, then we can see some kind of like a pullback or kind of like a reversal to the downside. That would be kind of like a spell for Dixie. Moving on to Marcus, a magma indicator, even after hours, it went, it went long. A positive, that's fantastic. It's just going higher. I believe that 1500, 1520 is coming. Apple uh, moved higher today as well. So um, $3.49 to the upside, great move. Apple can go higher to 220, even 225, 222. Uh, I'm not so sure if it gets above it. So Apple is topped already. Lots of charts actually topped in July. So we should see some kind of like a lower high down the road. Amazon, just that going higher, $3 uptick today after our just that gain as well. Meta as well, going higher nicely, 4% to the upside, 20 bucks. And after hours, just that went up another three three bucks. Uh, Microsoft, a $4.26 up. Uh, Google, $3.09 up. And Netflix, $18 up nicely. So after hours, they went all up. Tesla, just forming positive 3%, not a bad session. Tesla can go higher to 212 to 220. That's the maximum level that I'm looking at for Tesla. Semiconductor index at $13 up today. Um, without any doubt, SEM is actually the leader today. Socks, the same pattern, 6% off, fantastic move. Taiwan Semiconductor, 6% up today. AMD, 5% up today. AMD, nice bull flag here, just they can form. 150 to 157 can be the next target. NVIDIA, 6% to the upside. Great move. NVIDIA can go higher, 112 to 120. I believe that's gonna be the area that I'm looking at for NVIDIA. Texas Instrument, $9.23 off, fantastic move, 5%. All of them almost at six, five to 6% 6 to the upside. Lamb Research uh, from the bottom here, this is kind of like intermediate bottom, and this is very important. A chart is being damaged at this low broken. So we can see some kind of like a pullback to 963. We can see dollar, $100 per share gain. But after that, I'm not sure about this. Uh, moving on to XLF, which is financials, 1%, 1.61% to the upside. KBE, good surge to the upside today as well. 96 cents up. KBE can go to fill out this gap. Look at the gap here and also wide range bar. So this is a broken uh, 51 to 52. KBE could be kind of like a sell and sellers just sitting there. KRE, um, the same pattern here. Um, look at that. So here is the gap as well, $55. JP Morgan going up. So this gap here as well, Goldman Sachs at $12 up. And Bank of America, 91 cents uh, down uh, up today. Uh, good price action for Bank of America and Wells Fargo. Very, very shallow. So this is not the right bounce that we want to see. Maximum target is going to be this area. So 55 to 56, that's it. I would say that's going to be it. Moving on to the gold miners, they are good today. So 2% up, GDX at 2.53% off for GDXJ. AEM uh, dollar um, 32 cents off, Newmont dollar 31 cents off, uh, Franco Nevada dollar 53 cents off, and Gold Barrick 53 cents off. Fantastic search for Gold Barrick. I should say $18 could be a target. XLE, which is uh, energy um, ETF, at $1.88 up. XOP, $4 up today. Fantastic search. OH, a good price action to the upside, 6.71% uh, $6.71 up. A great move. Exxon, 
$2.21 up today as well. Exxon is holding very well. Chevron, just follow her. Uh, getting back to the upside, uh, this is going to be important pivot. You see the waterfall on Chevron. So we just uh, get into 143, 144. This is going to be at the bottom. At least it can go higher to 150 to 152. All right, guys. Uh, I believe we came back to a bounce. Enjoy this bounce. This bounce is going to be very, very spicy. So um, shorting the market right now. Uh, I know that everyone is looking for short opportunity, but sometimes you're too early for this and you will toast your portfolio. So be careful. Market is going to be volatile. As I said, August is going to be very, very volatile. September, October is going to be very bearish months, usually for the stock market, especially before election. All right, guys, uh, I believe I covered everything. If you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel and have a good one. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.